I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Real fixers don't need to refer to themselves that way. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? <laughs> this guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable, not by a single mora. Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place, and they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. That was quick. You resolved it already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he'd collect on the beach just to get by, but he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Ah, oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh, <clears throat> So trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? 
I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Xiao Lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean... the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So, I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right! So come on, get it off your chest! What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru, Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose! Let's go!